Welcome to another GCSE P related video. Today we will be talking about types of synovial joints, where they are located and movements possible at each. We will also be relating those movements to particular sporting examples. And before we begin, you know what you need to do. You need to subscribe to this channel, hit the notification bell, that way you will never miss a future video from me. Let's begin by looking at the hinge joint. As outlined by AQA, hinge joints are found at the elbow, the knee, and the ankle. So for those of you familiar with the term hinge, more often than not, you will associate it with a door. And what a hinge allows is it enables you to open and close a door. And as you can see, the hinge is just found up here and down below. So as I open the door, the hinge allows the door to open and the angle of the joint increases. But as I close the door, the hinge enables the door to close and the angle of that joint decreases. Just like the hinge on a door, the hinge joint allows for movement in two directions. These are known as flexion and extension. During the upwards phase of a bicep curl, flexion takes place as the angle of the joint decreases. During the downwards phase of a bicep curl, extension takes place as the angle of the joint increases. As I bend my leg, flexion can be seen at the hinge joint in the knee, and here the angle of the joint decreases. As I straighten my leg, the hinge joint at the knee experiences extension as the angle of the joint increases. At the hinge joint in the ankle, there are two movements that also occur. These are known as plantar flexion, where the toes are pointed towards the ground, so the angle of the joint increases. And the second term is dorsiflexion, when the toes are lifted towards the knee. Here, the angle of the joint decreases. Now we will move on to the ball and socket joint. The ball and socket joint is found at the shoulder and the hip. So in this joint, the ball that's located at the top of a long bone sits in a socket. And here, a great range of movement is possible because the ball can move in a range of directions. So what movements are actually possible at this joint? You have flexion, extension, abduction, adduction, rotation, and circumduction. These movements are also possible at the hip. Flexion, extension, abduction, adduction, rotation, circumduction. Let's look at some sporting examples of these movements. As the performer prepares to strike the football, extension takes place at the ball and socket joint in the hip. Flexion takes place at the hinge joint in the knee and plantar flexion takes place at the hinge joint in the ankle. During the follow through of a chest pass in netball, Flexion occurs at the ball and socket joint in the shoulder and extension occurs at the hinge joint in the elbow. As the performer completes a bowl, circumduction takes place at the ball and socket joint in the shoulder and rotation may also occur if the bowler adds spin to the ball. So just to conclude, today's video was about synovial joints, where they are located and the movements possible at each. We've also looked at actions and sporting examples where these movements take place to help reinforce your understanding. Thanks for watching and as always, if you enjoyed today's video, please do not forget to like this video and comment in the section below if you have any questions. Thanks for joining me, goodbye.